Hey guys, Black and Former Pat here. Well, today we're going to talk about some papayas. I just had a very, very wonderful surprise. So I've been growing my papayas here since for the past year. And papayas is one of those food that you can, from seed to fruit, you can get fruit within one year. And I have several papaya trees. You guys have seen my videos that had papayas. One of them was actually laden. But guys, I haven't had even one papaya from my trees because of these papaya worms they have been demolishing all my papayas so every papaya I've opened so far has been completely rotted so I made a tough decision I decided you know what I'm gonna have to go through every tree and remove every papaya and just dump them you know put them in a trash bag dump them so that the papaya wasps won't like fly out because what's been happening is the papaya wasps sting the sting the actual papayas I actually I think you guys saw it on one of my videos I was doing a tour and I was talking about my, my papayas and a wasp literally pitched on it and he saw the stinger come out and sting it so the papaya wasp have been stinging my fruit the fruit have been rotten um they've been literally completely engulfed with worms so I haven't eaten even one so I made a very tough decision today to just go through my garden to the four trees that are already frozen and to remove the fruit, put them in a trash bag and discard them and discard all the like the rotten like the leaves that have fungus on it. I was just gonna take all that bad material out of the um, garden and then just hope that the existing blossoms um, will, will be able to give me papayas and maybe since it's a cold season, quote unquote cold season for Florida, that maybe the papaya wasps will come around. So um, I was just doing a video to show you how nasty and horrible the damage for the papaya wasp look on the inside. Um, but guys, I just got a beautiful surprise. Look here. So guys, I didn't even take the papayas inside because I thought it was going to be rotten. I just opened my first papaya for the year. And guys, look, there's actually no damage. I don't even know how this is possible. The outside, you could see the papaya was damaged on the outside like you see here. But this first one actually has no damage. So somehow the papaya was stung them, but they didn't get any further. So... I am going to be tasting my first papaya. I'm so excited. And I have these other two that I'm going to cut. But since I had really had my garbage bag out here to, to dump them. See, I'm picking everything else. I was going to dump them. Since um, they're good, I'm going to take it in the house. And we're going to taste our first papaya for the year. I'm so excited. Let's go. Guys, you cannot even begin to understand how excited I am about having good papaya as well let me cut these other two open and see but guys look at that beautiful rich color and i can tell you my papayas um from my from my previous home came from my brother's house originally and they're the sweetest papayas i've had in my life and these are all seeds that were started these are all seedlings well papaya trees that came up from seeds planted from my brother's property as a matter of fact, I have a whole bunch of papayas. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get let's let's taste this. I'm gonna cut these two and then we're gonna taste them. Yay, I can't wait. Let's try this one. That looks perfect. Well, it has a little mark here, but hopefully the insects didn't get in. I'm gonna cut the top off. I'm gonna cut this piece off. Cutting that bad part off. And this looks good. So I'm gonna cut this open. And taste it. I am so glad that I finally got some papayas. It's sweet, but it's not nearly as sweet as the ones I had in my previous property. 
So I'm hoping the other trees give you give me sweeter papayas. But it is good. It's not good as what I'm used to. The ones at my previous home were literally the sweetest papayas I've ever had in my life. But I'm hoping because this tree had been through so much and like so much pest damage. It had a leaf spot disease. It had it really bad, the really bad leaf spot disease. Then then they were constantly getting attacked by the papaya wasps. Um, but these three made it. At the end, I guess the papaya wasps either let up or the insects just didn't um, hatch. But I'm going to enjoy these papayas. I'm probably going to freeze them, put them in my smoothies, cut them up in my fruit salads. It's not quite as sweet as the ones I'm used to, but then again, it's the very first time. It's only been, these trees are less than a year old and they're giving me food, so I'm very thankful. I'm trying to piece out the, the very ripe one. And this one is a whole lot sweeter, a whole lot sweeter. Definitely sweeter than anything you're buying in the store, but not quite as sweet as the ones I had at my other home, so. Mm. Mm. But it is good. It's very, very good. I'm gonna chop some up in my fruit salad. But this is a hermaphrodite papaya, and you can tell based on the flower. I'll go back outside and show you the flower. So the female papaya gives the sweetest, um, the sweetest fruit. The, 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 this, the tree that I got these off is a hermaphrodite tree. I do have two females and two hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodite, hermaphrodite trees do give you papayas, but they're not quite as sweet. Hermaphrodite papaya. So it's similar to the female papaya in that the, the flower, it flowers on the trunk. But here you can see, instead of single flowers, it has like clusters of flowers. And the hermaphrodite papaya is known as, they call it the perfect um, papaya because it has a male and female parts. So you can see the, the it flowers in clusters. This is a hermaphrodite papaya. Now let me show you one of my female papaya trees. Okay, so this is a small female papaya tree and it has a single, hold on. Uh, where is it? Okay, so this is a female papaya tree and you can see it has a single blossom you see that one a single blossom um in the armpit so it also blossoms against the trunk but it's a single blossom um you can see some other blossoms came out here but they must have not gotten pollinated so they fell off uh, let's see if i see another one all right so this is my other female papaya tree you can see it has just one papaya wait let's let's look it has just one blossom let me scroll in here you see each joint has just one papaya or one blossom so this is a female tree and i'm hoping that these are sweeter um as i said the first um papaya i just had was sweet it was sweet but i just know the quality papayas i had on my from my previous home that were like honey they were like literally as sweet as honey i can tell this papaya had some damage i can see it got stung but i think i'm gonna just leave them on there and see if these um are okay just like the the other two were okay so i'm hoping that i'm gonna leave these on i'm hoping that these ripen and that i can actually eat these papayas so I had two female, two male, um, two hermaphrodite. This is another hermaphrodite. Um, this also has some stings. You can see that little one had stings on it, but I'm hoping this, I'm hoping that um, I actually get papayas off this. So I'll let you guys know as, as the papayas come in in the different trees. But guys, the wonderful thing is all these trees are only less than a year old. So you can have papayas to eat within a year hopefully this year will be a better year for me with less um, papaya damage well guys I hope you enjoy this video um, I hope this encourages you to go out and plant some seeds today plant a papaya tree 
plant some seeds from a papaya. And I hope this also encourages you not to give up. No matter what's going on in your garden, never, never give up. Just keep trying, keep planting, and never give up on your plants. Before you know it, you'll be eating a bounty of food from your own garden. Till next time, bye now.